You may have already heard of Wishlist Member, a powerful WordPress plugin that takes your WordPress website and converts it into a full-on membership site with content protection settings, drip scheduling, and much more. Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the cool things that you can do with Wishlist Member and Thrive Suite to build on awesome membership sites. Hi, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes, and before we start building and playing with Wishlist Member, let me just ask you to smash that like button for me. Here at Thrive Themes, we create content on web design, online marketing, and we provide tips and tricks on how to build and scale profitable online businesses. So if any of these things speak to you, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. All right, Wishlist Member, this is exciting. Let's let's jump into it. So like I mentioned earlier, Wishlist Member is a powerful WordPress plugin that will allow you to create powerful membership sites on your WordPress websites. But what exactly can you do with Wishlist Member and what constitutes a membership site. Well, let me just break down some of the cool features that Wishlist has to offer. With Wishlist member, we can create as many membership levels on our website as we want. You can have the three classic basic, pro and elite levels, or you can build out a forum like membership site with 15 different membership tiers. Now by segmenting and putting people into different membership tiers, you can also have them unlock access to specific pieces of content on your website. And this is what I mean with membership site. It's a gated place where people can come in and hang out and consume your content. And the more money they're willing to pay you, um, the more access and benefits they can enjoy on your website. There are some other great features inside Wishlist Member like the possibility of dripping and scheduling content. And we can also archive content, which is actually quite powerful. This means that only existing customers can access that archived content, which means that it really is an incentive for them to not cancel their membership because if they do so, they lose access to that archived content. You can also get a crystal clear picture of how your online business is performing right from the wishlist member dashboard. It breaks down how many active users you have, how many of them are paying customers, how many of them have canceled their memberships and how many of them have expired amongst many other details. And of course, my favorite part is that Wishlist Member works beautifully well with Thrive Suite. All right, so for the sake of testing and walking you through what Wishlist Member looks like, let's just see it in action. Okay, so as you can see, I've got three different membership tiers inside my Wishlist Member area. I've got Silver, Gold, and Elite. And what I've done is I've inserted three different pricing options on my homepage for people to sign up to whichever plan they prefer. Now, if they were to click on the sign up button for any of these pricing boxes, a Thrive Lite box shows up and a Thrivecart checkout form is embedded on it. I'm personally using Thrivecart as my payment processing system because it allows me to put people into a specific membership tier upon checking out, which is pretty cool. It works really great. And uh, now that I have my membership levels created and my payment processing system enabled, I'm free to create content for all these three different membership tiers. And here is where things start to get really exciting. Let's say that I have a new article coming out soon, but I want only elite members to be able to access this upcoming post. I can do this really easily with Thrive Architect's conditional display feature. Alrighty, so I've created a new piece of content and I've got my entire length for this particular piece of content here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a new content box. and. Before I start playing with conditional display, let's, let me just break down what it is that we're trying to accomplish. I've got a particular article here, and I've got three possible different audiences that may land on this piece of content. Um, I want my three different audiences to see different stuff. Uh, that way I can actually address them individually and offer them different products or different services to buy from me. In my particular case, um, I've got elite membership subscribers who are going to get to enjoy the entire length of the article, and I'm going to offer them a higher end uh, ticket product to buy from me because they can't sign up to a higher plan than the elite membership plan that they're already on. I then have silver and gold membership subscribers, which I'm treating as one individual group itself. And what I'm going to do for these particular people is offer them 
a discount code to upgrade their membership tiers to an elite one so that they can actually enjoy the entire length of the article. And then I simply have non-paying customers that need to become subscribers, right? So let's actually create different views for all of these different uh, people. So my default display view here for this particular content box is going to be the view that non-paying customers are going to see. Um, so for these people, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a teaser for this particular blog post. I'm just going to put it in here and then I'm going to do um, another piece of content, another piece of text that says, hey, this post is only for elite membership. Awesome. And you don't have to be as harsh as I am. Um, you, and you can get as fancy as you want here. And now you can simply do a, a call to action that prompts people to sign up, sign up and get access to this article. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And what you can do is you can make the button redirect to a um, specific sales page, or you could even do what we did on the homepage, which is um, may have the button bring up a Thrive Lightbox so that people don't even need to navigate out of the um, of the actual piece of content. So we do slide in from bottom. Um, once people click on this button, our Thrive Card checkout form is going to pop up inside the Thrive Lightbox, and people can check out directly from the actual piece of content. This is pretty powerful. Um, a huge margin there. Okay, cool. So again, design wise, you can get as fancy as you want and you can have, you can actually build out. I mean, you could technically build out an entire sales page underneath the teaser content. And if you do it with a template and a symbol, it's going to make your life easier to do this throughout multiple pieces of content, which is great. Um, great. So this is, um, this is going to be great for non-paying customers. And now let's continue to customize the default experience for our um, elite members. Awesome. So I'm going to create a new display and this new display is going to be for elite members. And now I need to tell Thrive Architect that this display view is going to um, activate when a user is a member of and this particular conditional is going to show up inside your Thrive Architect conditional display settings if you've got wishlist member installed. So we can do as a member of, and we do elite, save, and here we can actually grab the entire piece of content and we're gonna stick it in here. And now elite members get to actually read the entire length of the content. Now I'm gonna do something. Um, since I want to maximize the potential of my revenue stream, I'm going to actually chop this off. I'm gonna insert a new text widget here above this, I've got an extra one in there, above this um, uh, this other chunk of text so that now I can actually insert another content box in between these pieces of content. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer a higher end ticket product, which is going to be a workshop. So for this content box, I'm going to go ahead and come here to background style. I'm gonna add in an image to the background of this content box. I'm going to do a little bit of a black overlay on top of this image so that the text is a little bit easier to read. Great. Let's make this a little bit taller and let's do a two column layout and let's actually center all of these things vertically speaking. And now we can do join us in New York city and I'm going to make this 32. I'm going to make it white. Perfect. Let's center this. I'm going to get rid of this spacing and you can get, again, you can get as fancy as you want here. Um, learn more. The whole point is that given that elite membership subscribers can't upgrade their membership tiers anymore because they're already on the highest paying plan, 
we still want to be able to at least offer them something. So this is a cool way of actually addressing each different membership tier individually and offer them an opportunity to keep on giving us money, which is great. Cool. So now we need to do now that we have our our, uh, our display view for elite paying members. Now we can go back and create one for silver and gold paying subscribers. So let's add a new display for silver and gold. And here we can customize this. There's two ways in which we can do this. We can do a new condition in which a user is a member of silver. There you go. And then or if a user is a member of gold, you could do it like this. Now, if you do have more than two membership tiers, if you've got 15, 20, 25 membership tiers, you don't want to have to be doing this individually for 25 different um, membership tiers. So what you could do is you could do um, a new condition in which a user is not a member of um, an elite membership that would work to either one of these options works great. Um, excellent. So let's save these conditions. And then for silver and gold subscribers, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a teaser again. Um, and what we can do is since they're not elite membership subscribers yet, we can offer them maybe like a coupon code. So let's do, Hey, this post is for elite members only. And let's do bold center this elite. And let's underline it, italicize it, create. Um, let's actually get rid of the line spacing, duplicate this, and we're going to do use coupon code elite 20 um, at checkout um, to get 20% off for life. Cool. So now we're missing the call to action, of course. And again, here you could either take them to a sales page or you can actually bring up a pop up through the um, Thrive Lightbox um, option that we did earlier. Awesome. So let's actually see what this looks like. All right, so let's preview and see what this looks like. So this is our default display view for non paying customers. If you want to access this piece of content, you've got to become an elite member. Now, if we navigate over to our different conditions, uh, here is our one for gold and silver subscribers. It's essentially the same thing as for non paying customers, except they get to enjoy a 20% off since they're already paying customers. And the one for elite members, of course, they get to enjoy the entire length of the article. And we're actually promoting a higher end ticket product here in between the actual uh, in between paragraphs. So this is pretty cool. And boom, we've now created different views for different audiences. And we can completely customize the copy, the offers, the pricing to really incentivize these people to keep on giving us money. It's really super kind of really powerful. I mean, here you can really see how wishlist member is pretty awesome. There's nothing like recurring income coming into your online business. But when you merge memberships with the power of conditional display, it really is like a money making machine because you can be targeting different membership tiers and non paying customers and address them and offer them incentives to keep on giving you more money. I'd like to really put some emphasis on how powerful wishlist member is. Um, I can't cover in a 10 to 15 minute video everything that this plugin has to offer. But in case you're wondering, there are many other functionalities like, uh, you know, protecting all posts that belong to a specific category, or you can also set up payment walls in front of posts if you'd like to charge people a fixed fee for reading them. Um, now, before I let you go, let's just see what type of automations we can build with Wishlist Member and, of course, Thrive Automator. If we jump over to our Thrive Automator dashboard and we have wishlist member installed on our WordPress website, we can see that we can set as a trigger that when a WordPress user drops a comment on one of our posts, we can then perform a wishlist member action such as 
adding them to a membership tier. This automation, for example, comes really in handy when you want to identify people who are super fans. If you want to reward some of those loyal fans who are always engaging with your content, this is a really cool way of putting them inside a membership tier and then offering them cool stuff for being so awesome with you. We can also use wishlist member as a trigger and maybe we want to tag people in a certain way inside our email marketing service once they've signed up to a specific membership tier. Okay, so hopefully you've got the gist of all of the powerful things that you can do when you merge Thrive Suite and wishlist member to create membership sites. Now, before you go important, down below you're gonna find a couple of links. One of them is a link to grab a license of Thrive Suite. With it, you'll gain access to both Thrive Architect and Thrive Automator amongst other awesome conversion focused plugins to build a profitable online business. And you're also going to find a link to learn more about Wishlist member and all the cool things that you can do with it. I truly hope you found this video useful and that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button for me. I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and I will see you in the next video.